Alright, this is our dark sky site. And this is a, don't forget to take the cap off them. This is what's called the Star Sense camera. The Star Sense camera takes pictures of the sky and it compares it, compares it to the database in the computer and figures out, well, the telescope knows where it's at, because I'm going to put in the latitude and longitude. And then it'll figure out how to orient itself. I don't know quite how that works, but it works. But anyway. we got a pretty good shot all around here, especially to the south. East. North ain't too good, but there's not too much in the north. Most of your action's in the east, and the south, and the west. And there's the sun. Sun? Where's the sun? There it is. Anyway, this is our dark sky side. So, as soon as the sun goes down, we will be putting in our latitude and longitude. Let's see if we have cell phone service. I doubt it. But the, uh, the camera here has a, a GPS receiver in it, so uh, that means if I have no cell service, actually GPS is more accurate than cell phone GPS because it uses, it triangulates off cell towers which have their own GPS receivers, so... The GPS on the camera is more accurate. Let's see... Oops. Let's see if we have any service at all. Okay, do we have any service? Yeah, we do. How about that? Yep. We got service. But, just in case, here's what we do. This be a tough top spot to get caught in. If, if there was an emergency or something. So... I got this little jobby. can't see it, but I can't do three things at once. But, uh, well, here. Okay. Okay. One four five three nine zero. Oh. 
This is KD7TU Portable for a radio check. W780L, you're coming in just fine. Nice clear signal. W7ADO, KD7TU Portable. Yeah, this is Jim, Japan India Mike. And we're in the coast range, and we always take the handheld with us just in case we don't have cell service. Uh, where are you at? Now I'm uh, in Eugene, and uh, I just thought I'd uh, repeat my ham license. Uh, Whiskey 7 all day long. Uh, uh, is how it is, but uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm using about 35 watts right now. Okay, what was the name again? Uh, W7ADL? Uh, the name's Larry, and you got the call sign right. Okay, Larry, W7ADL. Uh, QL, QSL, you're in Eugene. We're in the coast range near Lincoln City, between Lincoln City and Newport. Uh, out stargazing tonight. So, how's the weather over in the valley? Now looking up, it looks like it's been fairly clear all day, evidently. I know it's been warm for most of the day, but uh, uh, I never really paid attention. I did see clouds, I think, this morning. But right now, it doesn't look like I see any clouds in any direction, but it is starting to get a little bit twilight here, too. Okay, real good, Larry. Uh, yeah, it's a little, ah, there's a little bit milkiness towards the east, but not, not bad. This is the last clear day we're going to have for a, quite a while, I think, from what I've heard. I need to get out now, right now, because I have a daughter-in-law, so she can get some diapers for my grandson. They're out of money, so I need to call her on the phone and get off here. W7 ADL. Okay, thanks, Larry. Thanks for the radio check. Just make sure it's working here. You have a good one. Uh, W7ADL, KD7TU's clear and 7.3's. Okay. So just in case the cell phone goes out, we've got a backup. Which is nice. Meaning to put in a uh, a mobile rig. I got a mobile rig, but I just haven't got it in this van yet. It's just have to do it. That's all. With my back, it's kind of hard. It hurts, but we'll get it. Uh, so anyway, well, let's see. Let's see what time sunset's coming. <laughs> Apple ID. I always want my ID. This one, needs information and it's not getting it. Okay, let's see if the, this comes in. Yeah. It's supposed to be nice tonight, as you can see. Okay. Hmm. 
Now here is our planetarium. This is what's in the northern sky. Let's go east. And it's west. That's east. So you can see the sun is setting right now. About 7.35. Hopefully, we want to see the Orion Nebula. Where's the Orion Nebula? Well, we have to look, uh, we'd have to look south. <laughs> Okay, there's a line. We're not gonna do it like too much tonight. Just, just nice to get out. Anyway, that's our little planetarium at. Okay. Okay. Tried to align, but it won't align because there's too few stars. It's just not dark enough yet. But I can see Sirius already. So Starlight, Star Bright. First star I see tonight. Sirius. Yes, sir. In the future, this summer, hopefully, the Lord willing, we'll be able to let you see what I'm seeing. We have an imaging system, a near real-time imaging system. Uh, Actually, it's a video camera. It's not an expensive astro camera. But surprisingly, it will do. The imaging chip is so sensitive that it will actually image what we stargazers call deep sky objects, the faint fuzzies. It will do it. I can send you some videos to show you that it indeed do that. And then, uh, it, I have a, uh, a capture card I can plug into a lap, my laptop and take capture frames one at a time. Uh, Or, and then you can stack them with the right software. Like the planets, you take a lot of images, and some of them are going to be blurry because of the atmosphere. You take the best ones and you stack them with the software, and you get a good image. So hopefully we're going to play around with that this summer, the Lord willing. My back doesn't kill me. It's just got to be a little nicer weather, a little warmer. It's getting a little darker, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to sign off for tonight. This is KD7T, is signing for